Warning. Warning. The current video features incredible amounts of political salt. Please be kind to each other in the comments section and don't start a flame war. Feel free to discuss, so be excellent to one another and don't be a dick. Hello, I'm Entrism and welcome to Democracy 3. So in light of recent world events, I've decided it's time to uh, crack out the good old Democracy 3, maybe brush for a bit of the dust here and there and have a go. So, new game, and we'll be playing as the United Kingdom, which of course might not be quite so united in the next couple of years as Gibraltar might go back to Spain, Northern Ireland might go back to Ireland, and Scotland probably want a second referendum. Uh, but, you know, it's united right now. So, we're going to play as United Kingdom. Um, we're going to play as um, the United Kingdom Conservative party and we against uh the current the current government which is uh the conservative party where is where is it the conservatives there we go terminate four years yep um monarchy sure tournament no limit inote socialism it's actually gone down a little bit recently judging by uh uh, the, the lack of um, empathy, political apathy, actually gone down. The uh, referendum turnout had a turnout of 72%. But then again, that's a referendum. So it's more like probably about there for general, especially after the referendum. Uh, innate liberalism has really gone down recently. Recent votes have definitely swayed towards the right-hand side and the far right. So we're going to put it to about there. That sounds about right. Play. So we're going to be playing as the new mandate... Uh, for United Kingdom, which is going to be um, the Brexit. So we're going to focus on uh, closing off international relations and borders and getting no immigrants over here. Definitely no immigrants. We don't like foreign people. And we're going to work uh, from there. So welcome to your jobs, Prime Minister. Um, the lives of all your citizens are now in your hands. As you imagine, there are a number of situations that concern you and you need to deal with as soon as possible. Keep an eye out for the long-term improvements of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget the face of re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls of our party members. Good luck. Okay, begin turn office. Right, um, so one of the first things we have to do, very important, is we need to cut off, like, all our international relations. We need to find whichever one is the EU, and we need to get rid of it. Racial tensions, well, that's going to be a fun one. Border control, yes! Retinal scans, we need to stop people coming over the border. Yeah, definitely, that's, that's, yeah. Foreign relations, okay, we need to, like, tank that somehow. International trade, uh, foreign aid, no, definitely no foreign aid! We don't want any of the foreigners having foreign aid. Ugh. Definitely not. We made it. We should keep it, right? All right, let's look. Foreign policy. Uh, citizenship test. Definitely want that. Um, there's no one that's like the EU there. There's nothing really here that's the EU. Is there anything in like economy? Tax shelters. Yeah, we probably want to be a tax shelter. Um... At least some of the main Leave campaigners have been promoting uh, economic ideas that do vote towards a tax shelter. Although, to be fair, the Conservatives did that as well. Um, work safety law? No, we don't want those. We actually want to get decrease those because uh, EU mandates actually did cover a lot of work safety law. Now we're going to be out of the EU. We're going to be repealing all of those. Um, what else? Foreign investor tax breaks? No, don't want foreigners over here. Um... Yeah, government subsidy. Yeah, unlikely. Uh, no, 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 no. Trade union restrictions. Maybe, maybe. We'll consider that. Uh, diversity quota. No. Trade council. No, no. Okay, so no. no. All these tend to be woolly liberal ideas. We don't want any of those. So we're going to go uh, next turn. I've got no political power. So. Goodbye, tutorial. I don't want you. Bah. Uh, we've got a budget deficit. That's fine. That's fine. People smuggling. <gasps> A large number of people being caught entering a country hidden inside cargo container. I don't even need to read the rest of this. We know what we're doing. These people are coming over here and stealing British jobs and stealing British homes. There's there's only one thing to do, really. There's only one thing. That's deport. We need to deport them straight away. I mean, pff, deport them. That's that's not that's not good enough. Actually, like we we do more if we could, but we can't. So we're just going to deport them. Right, uh, now, um, Nigel Farage, um, one of the leaders of one of the 
campaigns to leave, uh, definitely mentioned recently, I remember reading this, uh, that he was again uh, for like relaxing gun restrictions, so more guns. So let's let's look. Um, license required. Now we're gonna we're gonna go no limit, no limit. You can have all the handguns you want. Maybe even assault weapons. I can't do that. How much do I require? Thirty-four. You can save up some. How much can we save up to? Fifty. I don't want the tutorial. Dear God. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go next turn. Stop and search. Ooh, there demands the police to be able to stop and search people on the street if they believe the individual may be guilty of a crime. Current police uh, search someone without formally arresting them. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure the UK has stop and search powers without arresting someone. But you need to give them a stop and search note. And they can't do certain things. Like, they can't do, like, uh, invasive searches. Uh, but yeah, we'll introduce the power because, you know, they could be foreigners and they could be smuggling people on the per- I don't know. Um... Oh, look! Our economy's suffering! That's really weird. I hadn't expected that. Um, right, we'll continue. How we got? 48. Excellent. We can now relax gun restrictions. Let's go no limit. There we go. Yeah, we need to be able to defend ourselves from the foreigners. Hmm. Okay, so... How's our economy doing? Sort off. Uh, I would like to see... Relative GDP. Huh. It's going down. I wonder why. Strange. You'd think being out of the EU, you wouldn't have to pay money into the EU, and, you know, you'd obviously have more money. Crazy, I know. Now, one of uh, Vote Leave's um, big campaign uh, things was, you know, the money that we spend into the EU will go towards the NHS. I mean, they actually retracted that instantly that the campaign was over this morning, but, you know, they did promise it, so we're going to go through with it. So, National Health Service. Um, we're going we're gonna to crank the health service all the way up. I can't do that, because to raise it, I need 18. Okay. Prices are theft. Oh, no. Credit rating. Our credit rating's been downgraded. <gasps> that actually happened this morning. This is like real life. Major international credit agencies have degraded the status, uh, downgraded the status of your government's debt. They like to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign countries will be wary of investing in your economy. Weird. I don't know why. Surely they think that, you know, now foreigners aren't in the country, that we've got more control of it. <sighs> they obviously don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so let's get our healthcare system. Ah, oh, but actually, now I think about it, we were going to increase the healthcare. But a number of uh, people on the Vote Leave and Leave.eu campaigns, both, all of the leaders actually, I think, definitely, definitely Farage, have previously stated that they would like to have a system like America, where the state health service is very little and it's mostly private. So I'm actually going to decrease it. Now bear in mind that actually decreasing the uh, the cost of the healthcare system uh, actually doesn't match the American system. The American system is actually more expensive per head as a percentage of GDP than the UK system for bizarre reasons, mostly to do with um, stuff like looking after the elderly, etc. That's where a lot of it goes. Uh, so, yeah, we'll decrease it. We'll decrease it to about life-threatening, all major operations. No, life-threatening. Major operations shouldn't be funded. We're going to do the American one. It's life-threatening and, like, that's... Yeah, cool. Apply. Right. Uh, I've only got ten left. Citizenship test. I need that. So we're going to have to wait until next turn to get our citizenship tests. Skill shortage. Why don't people want to come live here? Wait. Could this possibly be because we, we stop people coming to live here? No, can't be that. It's not, it's not like that the immigrants staff the NHS and build the houses at all, no. Okay, um... Well, let's, let's get in those uh, citizenship tests, right? There we go, yeah. We've got to uh, ensure that people migrating country have a demonstrable understanding of their culture and history. This lessens the chance of clash of cultures with newcomers of the country, encouraging integration, and reassures patriot members of society that they need not fear immigration. Actually, no, you should fear immigration. They're scary. They could be terrorists. You never know. Let's apply that. Um, and curb banking bonuses. 
Now, um, the people on the Vote Leave and Leave.eu campaigns uh, have historically voted um, generally along their party lines, but their party lines were to do nothing, uh, mainly because they're conservative and... Uh, I don't know if you UKIP... Yeah, there's one member. But they've, they've voted historically to do nothing, so I don't think they've actually said as a, as a Leave campaign what they would do in this case, because it's not really a foreign issue. Uh, but they've historically voted for do nothing, so we're going to do that. And we're going to... We've got six political powers. I'm going to save up and go next turn. The Doctor Strike. Excellent. I didn't even know we had one going on. Wait, our credit rating has been downgraded? This... This this isn't real. This can't be a thing. No. No, you, you, you trust our economy, right? And the global economy is in a recession. Oh. Oh, what? Uh, oh, our G uh, yeah, our GP isn't doing very well, is it? Um, we've got a £40 billion pound deficit. Well, we need to sort the deficit out, okay? So, uh, strictly speaking, again, um, some of the leading members of the uh, Leave.eu campaign, um, mostly a pol uh, Conservative Party, who have had a history of um, pushing forward austerity, so we need to cut our expenses to be able to uh, match the, you know, the expenditure. So, we need to start cutting things. So, let's start cutting... State schools. Let's cut that back to let's save about ten billion here. Okay, and we're gonna we only got five political power left, so we're gonna need to keep this one up. Teacher shortage. A new situation has developed. Oh, well, who's teaching our kids? But hey, we got up to nine percent of the poll, so that's that's good. We we're on seven percent last turn. Um, superhero. <gasps> Okay, right. Now, how, how, what? Right, science funding. So, um, science in the EU is a very collaborative effort. They go to particle colliders that say CERN, etc. There's even some, you know, um, particle accelerators over in Japan, etc. And it tends to be a very, I don't know, Japan not part of the EU, but the point is it's a very collaborative international um, atmosphere. I know I'm talking just in the theory of, like, physics and stuff, uh, but, you know, it applies to most things. Um, I mean, especially with stuff like archaeology and genetics, um, there's a lot of, you know, the Human Genome Project and so on. Um, that all takes place mostly in Europe and part of the European Union. There's a lot of European funding for it. Um, so because of the, you know, now we've left the EU, we're going to have to definitely cut back on science funding because, you know, frankly, we're not funding it. So that should save us a bit of money there. Uh, what else are we going to save? Ooh. This is tough being in charge, right? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so uh, let's go... Let's go to another one that's been recommended. We need to increase patriotism so people can remember that, you know, they shouldn't worry about the EU and the fact we've left it. They should they should be all patriotic and remembering, you know, Britain. I mean, without Scotland, Northern Ireland, Gibraltar and, you know, probably without Wales, I don't know. But let's, let's have flags on every street corner. Every street should have a flag. That's money well spent. Factory farming. Ooh. Factory farming law. A campaign to tighten animal welfare laws on farming is gaining momentum. Set tougher standards or leave unchanged. Um, so a lot of the farming uh, standards and, you know, quality um, of certain, you know, farming things did come from the EU again. Or at least uh, was set by an EU directive that the UK, you know, then implemented its own way. So um, if anything, we want to relax them now that we're not part of the EU. So we're going to leave unchanged. Um, yeah. Seems suitable. Deficit's only 20. So let's cut back on infrastructure. Now, road building is just road building, but it really is infrastructure in Democracy 3. So we didn't want to spend too much here. So we're going to cut back to about 2 billion. Okay, so it's about 10. Um, and that's because uh, the, EU, the EU actually puts a, an amount of money in to regenerate certain areas, to improve infrastructure. I mean, after the Manchester... Was it the Manchester bombing? Um, well, like, almost two decades ago? Uh, they put in something like 41 million or... Well, there's 2 million. We put in 400,000 as the UK. So they actually put in far more than us. So we, we don't want any of that. We don't want any of that woolly EU handouts. No, no, no. We don't want any of that at all. 
Um, so we're going to decrease the amount of infrastructure we spend. Freedom of information? No! No, 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 there shouldn't be freedom of information. No, 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 we drink that. Definitely not. Okay. Now, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, one of the big things we get as the UK from the EU currently, uh, past got from the EU, um, is um, a number of rebates and stuff. And we also get uh, funding for agricultural land. We get, you know, basically get a special thing that Margaret Thatcher managed to negotiate whatever, I think, where we get basically a lot of money for our agriculture. Um, we need to get rid of that. So let's see. Is there any way to, like, cut agriculture? Uh, okay. Farming subsidy. Farming... Su Basically, I'm thinking we should start with a farming subsidy, if this is correct. So we need to find... Where would it be? Economy? Agricultural subsidies. There we go. We need to get rid of that. No agricultural subsidy. Can I cancel it? I can't cancel it. Can oh, cancel is 24. Okay, so let's get 24. Capitalist plot. <gasps> the capitalists are plotting to kill me. Credit rating down. Great. No. They, they don't know what's... The international market don't know what's good for them. They're just, they're just like, racist against British people, right? Up oh, to 10% in the poll, though. Um, sure, let's... Find the agricultural subsidies, and we're going to cancel that. No, don't want agricultural subsidies. The deficit's getting manageable now. Less than a billion in deficit. Labor laws. I can't lower that. I don't have enough political capital. We'll get to that. Now, apparently, my cabinet... They, they all really hate me, apart from one person. Who? Trade unionists and patriots. Oh, it's just because you're a patriot. Okay. Um... I can't reach off my cabinet because it costs too much. Capitalist plot. Nuclear test treaty. Uh, no. Do not sign the treaty. We need to test. We need to be able to defend ourselves against aggressors, in, you know, including, you know, Russia. Big scary place. Although, admittedly, Vladimir Putin was on the side of leave, so maybe he's our friend now. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's get our labor laws. What's this? Limit automated trading. No, I don't want that. Pollution controls. Again, clean energy subsidies. Again, this is going to all have to be cut. Ah, oh, so many things to cut here, right? We can save so much money by not being in the EU. Um, I guess we've only got three political power. How's how's our GDP doing? Oh, can I like zoom in on that? Like our GDP doesn't seem to be. It's very strange. Oh, look, our interest. Our interest is hiked. That's, that's not good. Hmm. I wonder why this is. Expenditure's gone down. There we go. Nicely. Income. I mean, it's doing better. Global economy. See, it's, it's just the economy, right? It's just the economy. Gotta blame China. It's a sort of modern miracle that we've managed to create a society so poorly educated and somehow, somehow still functions. Well, that would explain a few things. You've been a victim of a carefully planned assassination. A highly skilled gunman put a bullet right through a skull using a high-tech sniper rifle when you appeared at an event to open a new school. Admittedly, you know, it was mainly just a garden shed, but whatever. All the clues lead to assassin being hired by a secretive group known as the Battenberg Group, who thought controlled by a number of hyper-wealthy capitalists. It seems that you led your gunman to get the wrong side of some very powerful and rich men, and you paid the ultimate price. Huh. Well, we can only hope. So, I've been Andrew Elysium. I won't say if you've enjoyed, like, and subscribe, because... <sighs> Until next time, stay shiny.